Bro, my 3D printer, every time I put the SD card in, nothing comes up. Say, so, whoa, 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 relax. I've been through this issue myself. And I figured out 12 ways you can fix this issue. Is that okay? Just give me the fixes, bro. Give me the fixes. Okay. Here are 12 ways you can fix your 3D printer not reading your SD card. Okay, we gotta go with a simple one. Remove your SD card, try reinsert it. Give it like a little clean, try reinsert it. You've obviously probably done this already, but I have to let it be known because some people might not have tried it and this could be their fix. So that's the first thing. And make sure you're inserting it properly because sometimes you have to hear a click for it to actually be working. If you don't hear a click, just make sure it's in there, it's the right way around. Hopefully that fixes the issue for a lot of you guys. Second thing, clean the SD card and the SD card slot. So maybe there's some kind of blockage that's in the way of the actual SD card going in. So you might have to just try blow into the um, slot and see if that helps and then try to reinsert the SD card, all right? Third thing, now this is more the serious stuff. So you can try to rename the G code file. Sometimes the G code file doesn't get read properly because of the way it's named. So sometimes rename the file into something smaller or using the underscore characters in Cura, something like that, that can help fix the issue. Like I remember reading some comments about the end of 3v2 um, having like an eight character limit. So it couldn't read the, the file. So try and shorten out the characters of the file, see if that works. Fourth reason, similar, there's spaces in the file name. Rather than spaces, use the underscore, like I said in the previous thing, that could be a fix. Try that one out. Fifth fix, insert a card, turn the 3D printer off, and then turn it on with the card inside. That might reboot it and help it read the files. So try that as well. Okay, it might be a problem with the SD card format. So there's a format like partition thing called FAT32, FAT32. So make sure it's in that format. Uh, for your SD card, you can check that by basically going to properties, I think, and then something in like general. I'll probably put some pictures up so you can see it and format it to FAT or FAT32, and maybe that can fix your problem. But do you remember when you format your card, your SD card, it's going to delete the files that's already on there? So make sure the files are like somewhere else, like backed up, just make a copy of it in a desktop file folder and yeah if you find this video useful make sure to subscribe like the video leave a comment if it helped you out as well so seventh fix is to try and lower your sd card capacity sometimes the sd card is too big like if you have like a separate one that's like i don't know 128 gig that might be too big for the 3d printer to read usually the ones they come with is like 8 gig and 4 gig so that shouldn't be a problem for most people, but if you are using a big SD card um, like capacity, try and get a new one that's lower or find one that you have already and try that one out. So the eighth thing, it could be a problem with the actual card reader. So similar to you like cleaning out the SD card slot, the card reader itself inside the 3D printer might have an issue. Like there was one user who basically inserted a card and when they held it in, um, the files came up. But when they like, stopped applying pressure, the files like, disappeared. So it's actually a problem with the SD card slot. If that's your problem, you might have to get a replacement uh, main board or get like maybe a professional to try and fix the, the internal kind of thing there. You can get a replacement micro SD card slot, just like somewhere off Amazon. You can try to replace yourself. Night fix is to free up space on your SD card. If your SD card is running low on space, sometimes the performance can take a hit. To fix this, I'd recommend freeing up some space in your card and seeing if that helps. You might just need to replace your SD card. It might be the SD card itself that's a problem. So you can just get another one off Amazon, pretty cheap. You can just get like a four gig or eight gig and try that one out. Hopefully that help, um, helps solve the problem. The last thing I do is try to bypass the need of an SD card by using like a remote kind of software. One is Octoprint, but I do think you need an SD card to download it. But there's other software that you can use that does a similar thing where you can take the SD file, slice it, and upload the G code to the 3D printer remotely. So you don't need the SD card itself. So that could be the final fix if all your fixes don't work. So hopefully that helps you to fix your 3D printer that's not reading the SD card.